Hello and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you how to separate game audio from Skype or TS using a very simple method. It's not using virtual audio cables or anything else like that. And more importantly, it works using Shadowplay. Now, I had such trouble trying to separate game audio from gameplay. And I mean, there are simple ways to do it if you're using DX Tori or anything like that. But when you're using Shadowplay, I was finding like methods were too clunky. There was sound input lag all sorts of problems with it but this way is incredibly simple and if you're having trouble with this and you haven't found another video here it is in one simple place for you to find alongside all of my other render settings and stuff and those videos that are going to come up on the screen now if you want to click on them you can check out the settings that i actually use and have it all in one place which is nice and convenient for you so to start things off the things that you will need first of all you'll need obviously skype or ts because this is what causes the problem in the first place Razor Surround is also required. Now, the link will be in the description below. You can also just tap it in on Google. You might already have this if you've maybe got Razor Signups, I think, for your if you've got a mouse or keyboard or some software from uh, Razor already downloaded, and you can upgrade going through that. But if this is the easiest way to do it, type in Razor Surround, click the download now that's just here. And then after you've downloaded it, it's accessible down here in this little tab. You can see I've got Razor Signups already and then Razor Surround is right there so to start things off what i'm going to do is open razor signups you can see here you've got select audio interface what you want to do is click on your headset it should come up now one issue you might run into is you might not be able to actually change your audio interface and the issue is is you don't have razor surround pro you need to actually upgrade it's completely free to upgrade you just have to make sure that you've upgraded to razor surround pro you also get a couple of other equalizer and enhancement options with bass boost and all that stuff plenty of videos on the internet showing you how to do that but that's what you need to do you select sennheiser or whatever your your headset is in this case it's sennheiser 3d game for me and what that will do if you click on your playback devices you can see it has duplicated this driver this speaker sennheiser is what usually is uh, usually clicked usually set as a default device but it's now it has swapped it to this however if i actually play a video both of these will you know show the sound volume will actually show that noise is coming out so they're both actually working it's just going through the razor sound razor surround pro before reaching my headset no lag nothing like that it just simply does that and it also gives you a load of cool options to change the 7.1 surround sound if that's something that you're into something that you actually want so click ok that's all you need to do for razor surround pro Minimize it again, just to get it out of the way. Now you might find that when you start up your computer, sometimes you might need to go back down to this bottom right hand corner, right click and then swap back to your Sennheiser 3D or Razer headset or Audio-Technica's, whatever it is you're using, you might have to then flick back onto this because sometimes I find if I unplug my headset, which quite often I do because they've got a little LED light that annoys me, when my computer's off it swaps it back to some other real tech or the screen or something like that my monitor speakers so you might have to click back on this otherwise you won't hear any sound really really simple to do that it takes like five seconds when your computer starts up so next up your actual ts or skype settings so once you've opened up your settings this is what you need to set it to you want to set it to your actual speakers your headset whatever it is that you have on your head at this moment in time you do not want to select the razor option which will probably be selected by default you can see it's the third one down here razor surround audio controller you do not want that you want sennheiser speakers whatever it is that you're wearing at the minute that's what you set it to playback mode leave all this alone obviously the rest of your settings is up to you as for capture set it to your mic it can be the one on your headset or the one you know the standalone mic that i'm using to record this at the minute that is all you need to do nothing else it's the same in skype you just go into your audio settings and swap the razor surround out for your actual headset click ok that is working now when you record using shadow play now whether it's using the shadow option or the manual option you won't have any issues with you know your friends voices or your own voice coming up on the gameplay it will be just complete pure game audio now one last thing if you're using shadow play something that you might want to have a look at now obviously i am not you know i'm running shadow play at the minute so i can't do these settings for you live to show you but on the audio tab on the right i've got it set to just in game if you were to set that to mic or set that to something else you might pick up you know what you're saying what you're saying into your microphone uh, you wouldn't pick up the rest off ts you wouldn't pick up what your friends are saying but you pick up what you're saying 
because obviously this has a little audio thing in it that records stuff at the same time. Again, if you have any issues with this whatsoever, please let me know down in the comments. I can link you all sorts of videos and help helpful tips, things like that, that will help you out. It's a very simple process to do, but then again, there are many things that you can trip up on along the way. Also, one thing that you may have found already in this video, you're, if you do it wrong or you do it incorrectly, the sound completely disappears from your headphones and you won't be able to hear the YouTube video that tells you what to do. So it's worth watching the video through first. Probably should have said this at the beginning, but watch the video through first um, and then you can obviously, you know what's actually gonna go wrong. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like and help anyone out in the comments who might have an issue. The rest of the videos are kind of gonna come up on screen now from uh, my previous tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.